One of the functions of a multimeter is to test for voltage to determine if the proper amount of voltage is present at a power outlet or if it's reaching a component. You will need to set the meter for either alternating current used in most homes or direct current used for batteries found in cars, lawnmowers, and various cordless products. Set the meter dial to the appropriate range above the expected result. Then contact the leads to the power source, such as a wall outlet or power cord, or at the load, such as an element or motor. Use extreme caution when testing. Avoid touching the leads or the terminals to prevent electrical shock. Most wall power outlets in North America provide 120 volts of alternating current. The smaller slot is hot, while the larger slot is neutral. Most electric dryers and ranges require 240 volts of alternating current, running through two legs of voltage, each carrying 120 volts. When testing a 240 volt outlet, each slot should provide close to 120 volts and 240 volts when combined, although readings can vary. Keep in mind, an AC circuit uses alternating polarity, so the leads can be reversed without affecting the voltage reading. The same is not true when testing a DC circuit, which has constant polarity. The positive lead needs to contact the positive terminal, and the negative lead needs to contact the negative terminal. If the leads are reversed, you will get a negative reading, 